Hello everyone. Today my topic of presentation is stigmatism. So what is stigmatism? Stigmatism by definition is a condition where the parallel beam of light rays incident on the cornea after refraction are not focused to form a point image near or on the retina. So this is a diagrammatic representation of an eyeball. Eye is almost spherical in shape with 2.3 cm in length. So this is an, another diagram which is like a rugby shape. In astigmatism, um, usually it is uh, a shape of a rugby ball in which there is a steep meridian and flat meridian. So what is the etiology? Irregular curvature or refractive index in the anterior surface of cornea. Irregular curvature or refractive index and also the position of lens. The refracting power is not uniform in all meridians of both lens and cornea. The principal meridians are the meridians of greatest and least refractive power. Classifications are based on etiology, relation between principal meridians, relation of meridian or axis and based on focal points relative to the retina. So, on the basis of curvature of cornea, it can be differentiated into irregular and regular, whereas in irregular, it can be further differentiated into axis not perpendicular and irregular surface of cornea. So, classification on between principal meridian with the rule astigmatism in which vertical meridian of cornea is more curved. So, for example, a myopic power is more in vertical meridian. Example, uh, minus 3 diopter cylinder at 180. It means it has power on the vertical meridian. The, if the x is at 180, it shows the power is 0 here and the maximum power on the other side. So, against the rule astigmatism in which horizontal meridian of cornea is curved, myopic power is more in horizontal meridian. For example, minus 3 diopter at 90. So, based on the orientation of meridian, it can be regular, irregular or oblique. Regular astigmatism mein kya hota hai? Ke 90 ke angle pe jo hai na, wo aapki power different aati hai. Irregular pe kya hota hai? Wo hote 90 ke axis pe hai, magar wo bilkul 90 or 180 pe nahi hote. Wo 120 pe bhi ban sakta hai, 140 pe bhi ban sakta hai, 35 pe bhi. जबकि oblique जो होता है उसमें meridian same नहीं होते 90 के angle पे वो नहीं बनते हैं different होते हैं अच्छा on the focal points relative to retina simple astigmatism क्या होता है one focal point on retina and other front or behind there are two types of simple astigmatism which can be myopic and hypermetropic what is compound astigmatism? Compound astigmatism में क्या होता है कि myopic है तो दोनों उसके जो focal points हैं वो आगे होंगे। अगर hypermetropic है तो दोनों उसके focal points पीछे होंगे, behind the retina or in front of the retina. Both the two focal points are in front or behind the retina. It is of two types: compound myopic and hypermetropic. And mix, mix astigmatism: one focal point in front and other behind the retina. This is a diagram of mis mixed astigmatism in which one focal point is in front of the retina and other is behind the retina. This is a stern conides in which rays of refraction shows a toric surface. This is a vertical meridian and a horizontal meridian. और इनके बीच में एक बनता है सर्कल ऑफ लीस कंफ्यूजन वो अगर रेटिना के ऊपर आएगा तो आपको इमेज थोड़ा नजर आएगा नहीं तो आपको ये है ना इमेज बाहर नजर आएगा सो व्हाट आर द साइन एंड सिम्टम्स डिस्टॉर्टेड विजन एंड डिस्टेंट एट डिस्टेंट एंड नियर लेटर कंफ्यूजन एस्थिनोपिया और ऑकुलर फटीग हेडेक्स एंड स्क्विंटिंग सो द क्लिनिकल टेस्ट इंक्लूड विजुअल एक्विटी टेस्ट फॉर डिस्टेंस एंड नियर Autoref, keratometry, retinoscopy, and monocular subjective refraction, including Jackson cross cylinder. So, to define astigmatism, we use different procedures such as astigmatic fan, clock dial, Jackson cross cylinder, mostly used, and stenopic slit. 
so what is the management astigmatism can be managed by spectacles in which there are cylindrical lens and sapphire cylindrical lens in spectacles with the use of contact lens such as toric soft contact lens rigid gas permeable contact lens and it can also be managed by refractive surgeries such as prk and lasik so this is a simple table to show you that if a patient has astigmatism when and how much to manage if the astigmatism is less than 2 diopters and a, there is a baby of less than 2 years you can monitor up to 6 months if the astigmatism is more than 2 diopters and the child is less than 2 years you can give partial treatment if the astigmatism is more than 2 diopters and the child is more than 2 years of age you will have to give full treatment so if the astigmatism is 1 to 2 diopters and the age of patient is more than 2 diopters you can give treatment if it is increasing progressively if it is 1 to 2 diopters and age is more than 3 years you can give treatment on the basis of visual acuity so in adult if it is 1 diopter or more than 1 diopter you have to give treatment so this is all from my side thank you Thank you.